Hey, it's Anvig Zero taking a look at Windows 7 Ultimate. Uh, Windows 7 Ultimate will be available on the October 22nd. Today is the 16th, so I'm giving you a sneak preview. Okay, so what is new in Windows 7? Um, in an honest review, I'm pretty much going to say that this is more of an upgrade from Vista, um, but it wouldn't be worth the money to upgrade from Vista to Windows 7. Um, so I'm going to save the trouble right now by showing you this video. It's not bad, it's just I don't think it's worth all the money to go from Vista to Windows 7 when they're so similar. So first of all, you notice that the start menu is uh, completely different. Um, you know, same setup, but different look. Um, it looks a lot better, and it has some cooler features. Um, if you hover over an icon, it'll give you a preview of the window, just like in Vista, but um, a little better. You can also, sometimes if you have like pictures or something, you can press these little um, next buttons and they'll cycle the pictures. Um, also, you can hover over it and it'll show you the window before you actually go there. You can hover away from that. Certain um, certain programs have different options when you right-click, like in MSN, you can change your status just by right-clicking. Um, uh, the search for the uh, start menu is improved from keywords, so if I type in Firefox, it'll pull up well, okay, that was a bad example, but <laughs> the the keywords are better. Um, also, it came with some new prepackaged uh, software that comes with Windows 7, such as Windows DVD Maker, which is an awesome improvement in free software from Microsoft. Well, maybe not free, but you get my point. Move pictures and videos into uh, DVDs and uh, burn them with a whole bunch of preset... Um, uh, movie menus, d uh, DVD menus, and scene selection pages, and um, they have a whole bunch of cool... It, it's pretty much like Windows Movie Maker um, 2.0, if you want to call it that, for DVD creation, though. Um, also, something new that we didn't see in Vista is the sticky notes, which um, obviously aren't that big a deal, but... Yeah, we have sticky notes now. Um, I'm trying to think of what else we got here that's new. Oh, okay, we have a new uh, docking system for Windows. Let me uh, pull up, pull open some windows here. So let me make that. Yeah, I know I need to increase my music library. I'm working on it. Pull up MSN. And let's pull up a few more windows. We'll open up Internet, uh, Internet Explorer. Firefox. And that's probably all we need. Okay, so first thing we're going to see is if you take a window and you shake it, it will minimize all the other windows. Let's put these back up here. Also, oh look, here's one of those things where you can select uh, select from two windows when going over an icon. Okay, so also what we have um, is this docking system where if you bring something to the edge of the screen, it will automatically make this box, and you can click and drag it in there. You can take this, drag it over here. And you can do that with pretty much everything. I don't think it works on the bottom. No, if you go all the way up to the top, it just does a full screen. And you can bring those back to normal size. Um, now, I want everything except MSN to go away, so I'm just going to shake that. Shake it a little bit more violently. All right, it's not working. See, Windows 7 is not perfect. Try this. There we go. Okay, so still working out the bugs. But, um... Overall, it's it's okay. If you're on XP now, I would recommend going to um, Windows 7. Vista might not be worth it. Um, the only thing is it's smaller than Vista in size, and it uses a little less RAM. You can see I'm using 48% of my RAM. I have a 2 gig, um, two gigs of RAM in this laptop, and I'm recording right now, so that's also using some of my RAM. Um... Okay, the transition from Vista to Windows 7, though, if you choose to do it, is great. There's no Windows.old folder like before. It um, automatically preserved all of my documents and all of my pictures and all my videos and all my programs, even my desktop icons, and everything worked just like it did in Vista. It was just perfectly moved over into Windows 7. There was, like, literally zero hassle of, of anything. Um, everything still works. Uh, everything's... Like there, I didn't have to back anything up. It just it just went, uh, which is really 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 nice. Um, also, one last thing, because a lot of people worried about like 
um, a lot of XP users. This happens sometimes when I record with Windows 7. This is like my second or third time trying to record this and hoping this doesn't come up. But yeah, that's only because it's slowing down my computer, the recording. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. Um, on XP, um, a lot of people worried about compatibility issues. Um, and if you remember in Vista, you could run something for XP mode. And they've actually improved that in uh, Windows 7. You don't actually see it, but um, whenever you right-click something and go to Properties, and somewhere in here, I'm, I'm not ex Oh, here we go. You run this for XP mode. Um, when you do this, and you can set it for Vista and all that, it actually runs it inside the virtual... Like, if you know what a virtual machine is, it actually runs it off that operating system. So what it does is it has like a smaller version of XP somewhere installed on my computer and it literally runs it inside of XP. So this will always work and it's a lot more efficient than it used to be. Before it was like an emulation, now it's legit Windows XP. Um, and Windows Vista is built in here too, I guess. Um, I only heard mostly about the XP. But that's significantly better than with Vista. Overall, I would have to say it's not exactly worth the money to go from Vista to Windows 7, even though it looks nice. From XP, you're probably actually better off going to Windows 7, uh, security-wise, mostly, uh, size and RAM, so I would recommend it that way. Also, the transition is smooth from uh, Vista to Windows 7, so if you're going to get it anyway... Um, I'm just going to let you know that it's it works great. Okay, uh, I'm Amic Zero, and I'll see you guys at the next tutorial slash video. Rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff.